Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medikwal plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to discuss a little bit about the auto dimensioning feature of the plugin. So recently I've now added two updates to this uh, feature, and the first one is here found in the global settings of the plugin. Um, you'll notice now that you have uh, what's called framing FIS and plan FIS added. And so basically all that means is that um, if you change these uh, from yes to no or no to yes, um, you have basically the FIS notation, which is feet, inches, and sixteenths. So right now I've set the plan dimensions to FIS and I've left the framing dimensions off. So we'll go ahead and we'll demonstrate that, but um, you can change that up here in the global settings in the general tab. So just so you know. All right, let's go ahead and close that. Okay, and then to show you also what we've just I've added today um, here in this Medique Wall Tools toolbar, there are now eleven icons, and the very um, right icon here, rightmost icon, is the Edit Dimensions uh, tool. So go ahead and put that back. But basically, that will now allow us to edit plan dimensions. Now note that you cannot edit uh, framing dimensions or the vertical dimensions of the walls yet but you can edit the plan dimensions and prior to this um, they were not editable um, <clears throat> and so you know they were there simply for uh, viewing but um, let's go ahead and demonstrate that so I'm going to go ahead and take this foundation that I created and I'm going to just lay down a quick grid here so I have something to reference against let's throw up some walls <clears throat> Throw four walls up real quick and we'll throw some windows and doors into that. Now you notice that I have the plan dimensions turned on and so as I draw each wall panel it will draw the dimensions uh, when it draws that wall panel. Okay so I've got those drawn and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some windows and doors and garage doors just to get something going here. So let's put a garage door in right there and maybe a man door right there and you know this isn't really that good looking of a structure but that's all right and maybe a couple windows over here just to demonstrate okay so we've got ourselves a basic structure with some windows and doors and these wall panels now what i'm going to do is just so we can visualize and view these dimensions a little easier i'm going to just turn this grid off for uh, actually, I'm just going to go to hide it like that. Okay, so as you can see, we've got plan dimensions drawn, and we have that turned on, and we also have that set to FIS mode. So if I go back in here real quick, and I'm going to change this to no, save the settings there, and then close that out. Now, if I regen this wall, what you're going to see is now it's gone to feet with a little tick mark. And same thing here. Okay. So, yeah, you can have it either way. It doesn't really matter. If you want to go back, you just go in the uh, global settings and change it and then regen your walls. Okay. So that's uh, pretty basic. But now let's go ahead and let's demonstrate now what you can do as far as changing these dimensions. So if you've got these drawn... <clears throat> Um, you know, and so let's say you want to shove this door over maybe a, a foot or two. Well, one way of doing it, of course, is to use the edit move opening tool here. And, you know, you can click that and then you click on the door and then you can actually use your cursor to move things. One way of doing it. Um, and so now basically you have another way to change this up. <clears throat> so if you click this edit opening, as you mouse over these dimensions, you'll notice they get selected. And so each one can be edited. So first of all, if we edit this uh, overall dimension, and you'll notice it brings up a little box, um, and it has the basically foot inches notation here. So I may change this up later on. Um, I may set it up so that you can put input, you know, just inches or maybe an FIS notation. But right now it's, if you're using feet inches um, as your template, then it will automatically go to that. So let's say um, we change this to 30 feet instead of 32 feet, right? 
Okay, so now it pushed the wall back to that. And and the nice thing too is, is you know, once you've got this tool going, you don't have to close it and start it again. Like let's say, okay, we got this four here. Well, let's say we want to change that to five. It's basically doing the same thing actually. It's, it's editing the end of the wall and stretching it or not stretching it. So let's go ahead and let's move this window. Let's say six feet. Sorry. And you can see that shoves it over. And then, okay, so now we decided, okay, well, we want to get this back to what it was. So we close that wall up, whatever. It doesn't have to be like that. But either way, um, yeah, you can basically, you can change up any of these dimensions on the fly. And I think it's a little bit quicker than having to go in and, um, you know, click the move opening tool and then click on this and then click on this one and then and then this one. I don't know. I, I don't know which one's actually faster, but um, having the dimensions there and visually being able to see those and recognize what those the, that spacing is, I think is very helpful. And it gives you the ability to just quickly change it, click it, select it and change it to what you think it should be or shouldn't be. So let's do this now in this wall. Let's switch this wall now to two dimensional representation. And I'm just going to hide this. Uh, foundation right now so yeah if you're in 2d mode which you may very well be you also uh, these plan dimensions also um, work in 2d mode as well okay so <clears throat> we've got this here represented and let's say we want this window coming over two feet so we click that put our mouse over that six feet here and there we go and you know and then again if you want to Go back to the uh, 3D full framing mode. There it is. So, <clears throat> yeah, it just it allows you to mouse over these dimensions very quickly and change them and update them. And like I said, you don't have to keep restarting the tool. You just click on the next one and the next one and edit it, and you can keep jumping around and doing that sort of thing. So I think it's a handy little tool to have. Uh, unfortunately, it does add one more icon to this toolbar that's already got... Uh, already had 10 icons now it has 11 but uh, I think uh, I think it makes up for it itself and how useful it can be so anyways uh, appreciate you guys uh, supporting me and uh, if you have any other questions or like to see any more additions uh, feel free to email me or give me a call all right thank you